My backstory. Um, how far back? Um, all right. Well, as a kid, um, I was a normal kid, except my disability, um, and I weren't really, um, I weren't really too bothered about my disability as as a child. Um, I went to Great Ormond Street for a um, for an operation when I was about ten or eleven. I had um, I had a web. I had, my hand was webbed, so they opened it up for me, so I can pinch things, which which was successful. Football didn't go where I wanted it to go, so I um, went down the wrong path. Started getting into a little bit of trouble, and um, uh, eventually got arrested in July 2010. Um, and I got sentenced to four years in prison. Um, had served two, and that's pretty much where my life changed for the better, really. Going to the cycling, as in, I went. I went to a little. Um, they run a sports fest. It's for disabled people to, to go and try out um, Paralympic sports and see how they get on. Um, and I, I sort of got involved with British triathlon and British cycling that way. Um, and then a few months down the road, finally chose British cycling. And it stopped from there, really. Yeah, I'm on the bike six days a week, and, and that could be I do generally an endurance ride at the weekend and um, a recovery ride in the week, generally on a Friday. Um, and the rest of the time is, um, is shorter, sharper sessions, so um, a lot of speed work, a lot of um, leg speed work. In five years' time, there'll be another um, Paralympic Games, which is um, in Tokyo. So, if I don't get where I want to be by next year for Rio, then um, then there's four years after that. So, I'd like to, to be in five years' time uh, to meet up with you again and say, and I've I've gone to Rio, I've done well in Rio, and um, and I'm about to or just been to Tokyo, so I've been to two Paralympics, that's where I'd like to be in five years time. 